So we're here at the Berthoud Summit Snowtail site. We have the snow water equivalent sensor, and it's actually a sensor that sits on the ground. It's about 10 foot in diameter, and it's filled with about two, three inches of fluid in it um, that actually weighs the weight of the snow to tell us how much water there is in the snow. The main purpose is to get an idea of what the snowpack is at this given location and across the western United States so we know how much water we may have come spring and summer because between 50 and 80 percent of our water comes from mountain snowmelt. This is the Colorado River. It spans 1,400 miles across the West, serving 40 million people in seven states. It's one of the West's most vital resources, but it's drying up. The river starts here, in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, where this winter storms have dropped more than double the average snowpack in some areas. But after decades of overuse, drought, and rising temperatures, is it enough to save the river? Where we're at for snowpack right now, uh, in the greater Colorado River Basin, say above Lake Powell, snowpack is right now at 135% of normal as of March 1st, according to all of our snowtail data. Last year, snowpack was about 91% of normal. And prior to that, in, in 2021, snowpack was about 85% of normal. So right now, this year being at 135% of normal, that's a great spot to be. Is that going to get us out of the drought? No. The soils are thirsty, the streams are still thirsty, and the efficiency is not as high. We're, we're not really on a trajectory, at least at this point, at 135% of normal, to probably get us out of, out of the drought and get us out of the deficits that we're seeing in our reservoirs, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. We're here at the Turquoise Reservoir in Leadville, Colorado, Lake County. We are monitoring transcontinental diversions of Colorado River Basin water that supply Colorado Springs utilities customers with approximately 70% of the water that comes out of their tap. Depth of 52 inches, core of 33. We take these snow measurements to determine how much snow to water content we will get in our collection sites when the snow melts. That helps us determine how much room we need to make in our reservoirs. Statewide, different areas of the state, we definitely have seen huge snowpack in some of the watersheds. Um, our results have been a little bit more moderate this year. A lot of our Colorado River basin uh, collection areas are pretty close to average. So locally for us, I think that our storage will stay pretty close to average, our yields will be pretty close to average, I suspect. Our water use will be pretty close to average, um, but as we look big picture, as we expand out to the Colorado River Basin as a whole, one year is just not gonna make enough of a difference that we don't need to keep looking forward to better solutions for how we use our Colorado River water.